Where's your company today with software as a service? And please explain the difference between software as a service, Citrix terminal service applications, and where do you think you'll be by August of 2010? Let me just tell you how Thomson Reuters defines SaaS and what our plans are there. We see three different licensing models for our, um, our uh, solutions that we offer to the marketplace. One is the locally installed application. That's the traditional one that we all offer, that we all grew up with, which is we ship you a CD and you load it in-house. Um, that, that licensing model is based on a product that I'm delivering to you that you're going to load and use. Uh, we have for 10 years had ASP hosted solutions uh, that are web solutions that we've licensed, licensed differently. So you're still licensing a product from us, but now users is more relevant to us. Other processing metrics are more relevant to us, like maybe numbers of documents or numbers of tax returns, because this is a direct impact on the cost equation that we're, that we're hosting for a web system. So to me, the ASP hosted model that, that we've had now for about 10 years is a little bit different because we license it different based on usage, uh, still web-based delivery for all of, all of those advantages. For us, our SaaS model, which we're now going into our second year of SaaS licensing, is we're not licensing products anymore under our SaaS model. We're taking all of our web systems and we're licensing profiles of use rather than products. So we're licensing a tax profile of use or a audit profile of use or a bookkeeper's profile of use. So for instance, when you, when you come to us and you get a SaaS license, a monthly lease for a tax profile of use, you get access to the tax system, the document management system, the fixed asset system, the practice management system, the planner, everything you need to be a tax person for the month you get access to. So for us it's a, it's a difference in the licensing model of our web apps where we're going with these different profiles. I think there's big advantages for, for certain firms out there because first of all instead of, of you know, even if you're, let's say you're starting a new practice or a new area, instead of having to make 12 product decisions because, or six, those things I just listed off, you can say I don't need to do that, I need a tax ID, I need two bookkeeper IDs and I need an administrator ID. And with each of those IDs, you get access to different systems. So what we've taken is we've taken our web applications, we've rebundled the access controls for them, the way they're delivered and the way you can access them, so that you can access them through a profile of use that you lease or rent on a monthly basis. So this month you've got 10 tax profiles, next month you have four. Um, so to us, that's, that's the SaaS model. We're in our second year of it. Last year was our first year. We had, we had a lot of great interest in it. Uh, we're seeing more interest there uh, this year as well. So that's how we, that's how we view SaaS, Gary.